Hi, today I'm reviewing the Nambuzin number no. 5 Essential Vitamin Toner. And really quick, I just want to say if you want to help support the channel, subscribe to my newsletter, check out the links below, or subscribe and share the video, or leave a good comment. Um, anyway, so I've got this wonderful toner to review, and uh, so I was working on my review last night as I kind of fell asleep, and I have this weird sleep thing where I will sleep and I will sit straight up in bed just like I'm having a conversation with nobody around. And I probably do it, I don't know, five, ten times a night, cameraman? Yeah. Cameraman will wake me up. I mean, like, why are you sitting up? It's the weirdest thing, and I wonder. My back's always been a mess. I wonder if that has something to do with my back being a mess. Okay, so, anyway, so, yeah, he says I wake up 10, 20 times a night, and sometimes I'll wake myself up, although the one habit I don't miss when I used to drink a lot of pop, because I was drinking a lot, I would wake up, I would open it up, sitting up straight, I'd start drinking it, and then I'd fall back asleep, and I'd wake up, because my pop spilled all the way down, all over everything, all over the sheets, get the towels out, change the pajamas, you're all sticky, you gotta rinse off, because that stuff's pure sugar, Anyway, it's weird. So if anyone has any thoughts on how to stop it, let me know. I was thinking maybe buying uh, one of those weighted blankets or maybe some sort of like straight jacket or I don't know. Anyway, maybe some like, um, you know, what are those, those rubber things with the things on each end? Cable, like a booster click cable. What are those called? Bungee cords. Maybe bungee me down. I don't know. Anyway, it's so weird. And uh, I think, I don't think I get as good to sleep because now I'm sleeping a lot lately, and maybe that's why. Because my sleep is interrupted a million times with me sitting straight up. So, I don't know. Anyway, okay, on to the review. So, they say this Essence Toner, and I'll get to that in a second. It contains Arbutin, Bisabolu, Vitamin C, and Niacinamide, which effectively revi revitalizes skin. Fades hyperpigmentation while perking up dull skin. Glutathione liposome is in the mix and provides additional brightening effects. I noticed that on the last product I reviewed. They said, hey, we added this in the mix. Why did they do that? I'm wondering if there's something common between these two. I mean, just to say, in the mix is kind of weird. I'm looking. Well, they're not made by the same company, so I don't know. Anyway, I just thought that statement sounded a little weird. It's like uh, on TV when they catfish the people, you know? And then uh, they check their emails that they send and they cut and paste and you can see the same email like five million people like i love you i've got five million dollars you just need to send enough to get me out of prison and then they cut and paste and it's always like oh i love you so much i love you my love burns for you and then they cut and paste and then they find it's like the same thing they texted to everybody but the person thinks it's just to them anyway okay there we go i've really went off now okay in terms of packaging, we've got a plastic bottle. No issues with that. With a little dispenser. No issues with that. Uh, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It's also fragrance-free and has no noticeable scent, which is nice. Uh, then in terms of the manufacturing location, this one is made in Korea, so no issues with that. I'm going to do a quick pH test just because um, somebody always asks for it. It does contain a little bit of ascorbic acid, so I might as well do a little pH test here. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's see. Looks like it's, I would say, five almost exactly. So that ascorbic acid really needs to be between a three and a four to be super effective. So I don't know. Anyway, it's way down the ingredient list, so it's not the main thing. Okay, so e ease of use. This one uh, is very thick. I do not find this easy to apply with a cotton pad whatsoever uh, because it does not soak into the cotton pad. It's just, it's thick. It's just a very thick product. And I like how they call it an essential toner. This one reminds me more of like a traditional essence than it does a toner. Toners typically are liquidy. You can put them on with a cotton pad. Uh, and essences, you typically pat on a skin. This reminds me more of an essence than a toner. Um, so a little bit does not go a long way. Keep that one in mind. But you can use this one morning and e morning and or evening or both. Um, so I would recommend patting it on with your hands. A toner or a cotton pad is going to be a waste, and anything it's it's just going to if once it soaks in, it doesn't work that way. You just need to pat it on. Although if you le use a cotton pad, let me know. I don't know. It just seems so thick. Um, okay, so for me, 
the first several times I tried using this in my morning routine, and I would prefer to use this in my morning routine because of the antioxidants, the vitamin C, those things are great for morning routine. However, I find if I put this on and I use a thick sunscreen or a moisturizer in between or another serum, it ends up being too much, too, too suffocating. It just, it takes a long time to sink in and absorb. And once it does, it sets to a pretty sticky, tacky finish. And it sets to a pretty radiant finish, so it takes a long time to absorb. I am thinking if you just use this and then put a sunscreen on, that's better. But when you want to use another serum on top of it and then a moisturizer and then a sunscreen, sometimes it's too much for it uh, just because of how long it takes to soak in. So keep that one in mind. But anyway, it's definitely a very radiant finish and it sets to kind of a tacky finish. And it's almost like a serum -y gel texture. That's the best way I can describe it. Uh, it is thick. So, But you know what? For nighttime, that's just fine because I apply... As many layers as I possibly can. I sleep on my back, so I mean, it doesn't really, you know, it, everything soaks into my face or probably ends up in my hairline at night. Uh, but I don't lay on my side, so it doesn't rub off, things like that. So I, uh, whatever you think works best. But yeah, so uh, anyway, okay, definitely sticky, shiny finish. Doesn't work with the cotton pad. We've got that far. So in my opinion, in terms of a toner, it's not super easy to use. It's a little bit fussier that I'm used to. Okay, beneficial ingredients in this one. So we've got a lot. So if you've tried their uh, vitamin five serum, I really love that one, it's very nice. Uh, this one's in the same lineup. So for ingredients, we've got niacinamide, which is a great anti-acne skin brightening ingredient. We've got sea buckthorn extract, which is a great antioxidant. Uh, it's also good for brightening skin. We've got erythritol, which is a humectant. We've got ethyl azorbic acid, which is a vitamin C derivative uh, that may have antioxidant benefits and may brighten skin. It's still kind of new, even though I've been saying that now for probably five years. It's still new. Uh, okay, then we've got adenosine, which is cell communicating ingredient, anti-inflammatory. We've got glutathione, antioxidant, free radical fighting and brightening ingredient. Uh, Matocasicide, a uh, compound from Centella that has anti-inflammatory healing antioxidant benefits. We've got Japanese gold thread extract, soothing and antioxidant. We've got ceramide NP, skin identical ingredient. We've got ascorbic acid, antioxidant, and brightening ingredient, anti-aging ingredient, collagen producing, but not in this amount and not in this pH. Panthenol, wound healing, vitamin E, antioxidant, arbutin, skin brightening, antioxidant. We've got argoline, which is the Botox in a jar peptide with anti-aging benefits for fighting wrinkles and fine lines. Hexapeptide 9, which is another good peptide with anti-aging benefits and can help reduce wrinkle depth. We've got Nona Peptide 1, which is a cell communicating ingredient. We've got Matrixol, which is the peptide that helps with skin texture, fighting wrinkles, help fighting with collagen or help, help with collagen production in skin. And then finally, we've got the Matrixol 3000 Duo, which is a peptide pair that helps fight wrinkle length and depth. It can also improve skin texture and one of the easier absorbed peptides. So no issues with that, very nice ingredient list. In terms of animal testing, they are cruelty free. So that's awesome. In terms of the performance, so it's kind of soaked in as much as it tends to, and you can see it's still pretty tacky, yeah. But you're gonna apply something over it for sure, because you're not gonna want that feeling. Okay, so for performance, so for what this promises, whoa. Promises to revitalize the skin, fade hyperpigmentation, perk up dull, dull skin, and provide additional brightening effects with the glutathione. And I would say this delivers on all of those accounts. And it also helps plump up the skin a bit. It helps fight wrinkles, provide anti-aging benefits as well. I think they are underselling this because it does a lot of good things with those peptides in there for anti-aging are amazing. Um, so it's really nice. So this looks pretty friendly for most skin types, including acne prone, sensitive and dry skin. If your skin is on the oilier side, I'd probably recommend doing using this one at night just because of uh, that radiant finish. But if it works for you in your morning routine, go for it. But I have a feeling for oily skin, it might be a bit much throughout the day. Um, and then also of note for acne prone skin, vitamin E is the only ingredient of note. So no issues with that. 
terms of the price, so this is a full size, 200 milliliters, it's seven ounces, and it retails for 20 bucks, so it's a pretty good deal. Although a little bit does not go a long way, I'm already getting pretty far down the product. It's been a little over a month, so. Last but not least, I wish this didn't have a sticky finish. Um, I wonder... Let's see, butylene glycol is pretty high up there. It's a pretty sticky ingredient. That's probably why it's so tacky. Um, so, yeah, I'd love to use this more during the daytime, maybe during the winter. When my skin gets drier, it'll soak it up a little bit better. But for right now, I think it's a bit too much for the summer. But, um, yeah, it, it does end up feeling kind of heavy on your skin. So, anyway, but, uh, yeah, so certainly you can use it with vitamin C, sunscreen, and makeup. It's nice. So for some dupes or alternatives, I've got the Metapeel Collagen Toner, which I don't think I've tried much from that brand. I think I've probably only tried one or two things. Uh, the It Cosmetics Miracle Water Toner, which I loved. Love that one. I went through that one so fast. I loved it. Uh, the Vita Bread 12 Facial Boosting Water and the Saturday Skin Yuza, Yuzu Vitamin C Brightening Toner, all some dupes or alternatives. Um, yeah, so with a 10 being a perfect score of this one, an 8, I guess my main issue is the tackiness. It's kind of problematic and makes it not easy to fit into every routine. So anyway, uh, interested hearing from you guys. If you had a chance to check this one out yet or not, and feel what your thoughts are, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye guys.